ना Hello, my dear students. Very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hey, guys. How is everybody? Okay. Awesome. I think the camera is not clear. All right. So yeah, I am fine, Vandana. Thank you so much. How are you? Hi, Sri Aditya. So guys, welcome to this channel. All right, this session today is we are starting a brand new chapter on rulers and buildings. Okay, something very very fascinating. You will see, you know, as we move on. Okay, because we used to wonder how these things have been created, right? It's super important for us to know the history of it. Okay. Hi, Shreyas Yadav. Hi. Hi, Tanishk. Yes, I do. Shrutila. Shrutila, ya. Yeah. Swagger Gaming. Aryan, Durga. Guys, welcome all of you. Krishna Balan, how are you? Yukta Sharma. Lovely to see all of you guys. <clears throat> okay. So let us move on. Initially, I'll just explain the channel and. Uh, take it forward and then we will speak about the session all right guys in case you are wondering what is vedantu young wonders this channel is for 6th 7th and 8th grade students and uh, we have both academic and non academic offerings every day we have live sessions with quizzes math science social and english grammar is what we cover so yes in case you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have lovely very very fascinating offerings okay so every day from 5 o'clock till 10 9 9:30 you will have multiple sessions happening very interesting sessions and we also have non academic sessions happening at 1 pm okay lovely all right let's take it forward hi reka how are you hi ashwika guys you know what vedantu have, we have started a division called as vedantu super kids vedantu super kids is for students between uh, KG till 5th standard. Alright. So we have introduced the coders. Super coders course. I am sure you already saw. Right. We have introduced the super coders course as well. And now. Something which is super important for a kid. Who is in KG. And slowly moving towards transitioning into 1st standard. Would be you know what is that skill. There is one skill which is super important for a small child. Which is in KG moving towards you know pre KG L you know up senior KG and then first standard first grade. You know there is one skill which is super important which all schools expect. Any idea what is that? Come on come on come on. Try it if you want. Learning brain. Guys it is a reading skill. And super happy to tell you Vedantu has introduced personal phonics based reading classes for students, kids between 4 to 6 years, very young kids. Okay, so in case you have friends, relatives, you know, uh, who have kids between, you know, in this age group, please feel free to ask them to take a free demo. Take a pic of this, note down this link also. And once you get to this link, you will be able to access an option to get a free demo completely free and certified teachers lovely teachers who will ensure your kid starts reading very faster okay these kids whoever is coming in right guys interested all right so now moving into rulers and buildings guys i want to ask you when it comes to rulers and buildings i want to ask you about something very important tell me a few buildings which you have looked at amazed and quite wondered you know how did people create or construct these kind of buildings can you tell me a few buildings like that come on come on come on few buildings which fascinated you made you wonder how were you know they were constructed taj mahal kutub minar red fort okay right 
Radha Gupta, it will take some time. What else? Bungalows, okay. So everyone is saying Taj Mahal, Kutub Minar. All right, Redford. So guys, there are so many of our temples. Start starting from the Sun Temple, Konark, and uh, we have uh, you know temples, Rajaraja Chola's temple in Tan Tanjore, Tamil Nadu. So many constructions are there, which we are always amazed, right? One single stone, huge, huge constructions. So now, how are they built? All right, that is the uh, power or the strength of our civilization. People were super knowledgeable. Now, in this chapter, let's deal a little about Qutub Minar. Guys, any idea why or why Qutub Minar was built? Come on, come on, come on. Any idea why Qutub Minar was built? For guarding, okay. Why, why, why? Satya Narayana Pritishar will come from Monday to show power, okay. Guys, in celebration of something, what is that? You know what, guys? I think it was in 1192 or something, you know, if I'm not, uh, I don't remember, but that Qutub Minar is, was built to show that Mughals have taken over completely. When Muhammad Ghori won uh, Prithvira Chawan, right? So the Mughals came into power and to celebrate that it was built. So the best part is, uh, it was such a lovely structure. How many of you have seen Qutub Minar? 1199, right? I said 1192. Yeah, yeah. So, it was to show the domination of the Mughals. They have a right. Okay? Superb. So, now we are going to speak about Qutub Minar, engineering skills and construction, the beautiful temples, mosques, tanks that we see. Okay? We will deal with them. Ready? So guys, you see the picture, beautiful one, balcony of Qutub Minar, you see how beautifully it was constructed. So, who did that? Qutbuddin Aibak. Qutbuddin Aibak constructed it around 1199. Started I believe in 1192 if I am not wrong, I am not, you know. The patterns created are by small arches and geometrical designs. All these are geometrical designs. What do you mean by geometrical designs guys? Any idea? Can someone explain what is a geometrical design? Sri Lakshmi Yogesh, if you have, please type your doubt beta. Geometrical designs, yes, squares. And the most important part is, Geometrical designs can ensure uniformity in construction. Everything will look absolutely the same. Okay? So, of course, it will be squares, arches, etc. The geometry, the geometrical designs. But uniformity is more important. So, under the balcony, you will see two bands of inscriptions that were written. You can see that there, right there. Alright, they were, the inscriptions were written in Arabic. And surface of the minar is curved. The surface is always curved. You can see that as well, right? Curved and angular. This is one. Hi, Tarunya. Now I hope the picture is clear. Guys, if you have to do write an inscription on these kind of surfaces, you know how difficult it is? You need to be super accurate. Alright, only very, very, very skilled engineers, craftspersons can do this. 
so that is the what do you say uh, uh, the the best part of kutub minar so very very few buildings were made of stone or brick 800 years ago so at that point in time kutub minar is a monument to remember that way clear all of you is everyone clear El okay i am on to so kutub minar has five stories you can see them 1 2 3 4 5 5 five stories are there first floor was constructed by kutbuddin aibak and rest by iltumish in 1229 almost what uh 20 30 years ago you know uh, 30 years later i'm sorry so over the years it got damaged by lightning and earthquakes and alauddin khalji mohammad tughlaq all right and his descendant firuz shah tughlaq ibrahim lodi so dynasty after dynasty they took care of this beautiful beautiful monument so now you know right it was started by qutbuddin aibak after 30 years iltumesh constructed the remaining uh, floors and uh, over the years it was damaged by lightning and earthquakes but uh, taken care renovated by alauddin khalji mohammad tughlaq firuz shah tughlaq and ibrahim lodi cool menti will always be there don't worry No, no, it is multiple stones. Don't worry, it is not a single stone. Shri Shankar. Okay, now between eighth and eighteenth centuries, kings built a lot of, lot of temples, forts, palaces, garden residences, tombs, etc., to show their power, to get the praise of people for different reasons, to publicize things. Okay, so kings built two different kind of structures. One were palaces, gardens, tombs, etc. The second were for public. So the first one, forts, palaces, gardens, are for the king and their family. The other structures were public structures like temples, mosques, tanks, wells, caravansaries, and bazaars. Different, different structures. So remember, these were the two types of structures. Quiz question might come. Be ready. Now, kings were expected to take care for their subjects. So kings were expected to take care for their subjects. So they are responsible by making structures for their use and comfort. Rulers, all right. hope to win the praise of their dear ones for whom they were constructing it so construction activity was ca carried out by merchants as well all right so what are what were the different structures they were built temples mosques wells were also built by merchants so look at that structure guys the one that you see on your screen how beautifully constructed it is Hi Pratish. Find out, beta. Find out. Devasri. So, look at the engineering skills and construction. Monuments provide an insight. See, look at these monuments. Eight hundred years ago, you would not just understand how well it was constructed. You will also understand the kind of civilization that existed at that point in time. Okay, look at the roof. Look at the style of the construction. Take Taj Mahal for an example. Take Qutub Minar for an example. All right, there is a style which depicts a lot about what kind of people, what kind of taste was there with people. All right. So, uh, example is construction of a roof. The roof was created. It can be done by placing wooden beams or a slab in four walls. Right? They didn't do that. when you have four side walls and put a slab it becomes a a closed uh, you know construction but people did not do that because they wanted to engineer it beautifully and make people say wow for this you need engineering skills okay 
lovely so now between 7th and 10th centuries people slowly from one room just being one room people started adding more room more floors more doors windows slowly they started thinking making it more sophisticated more well developed okay so how were the roofs doors and windows uh, you know made by placing a horizontal beam across two vertical columns whenever there are two vertical columns they put one horizontal beam there it becomes a door this tile where there are two vertical columns are there and one horizontal beam is kept is called trabeate or corbel i repeat it is called that style of architecture is called trabeate or corbel you see that on your screen now so why is this important guys even today you go to many many temples you will see the shrine when you enter the shrine and all you will see the same trabeate or called corbel style of architecture between 8th and 13th century all old temples you will see that the trabeate style was used in the construction of temples even in mosque you see right when you enter a mosque it will be like this have you seen that yes 2b you see that right 2b picture 2b it's called the corbel guys is everyone uh, understanding or uh, are you able to connect with what i am saying this is the picture that i am referring to okay perfect karam vaishnav hi ayush hold on beta we have not completed at all how can we do a recap all right now so between 8th and 13th centuries a few centuries later the trabeate style was applied or used in the construction of temples mosques tombs and uh, buildings which were attached to large stepped wells there were buildings where you know you can come out of that well with huge steps are there they are called bawlis bawlis remember that okay there the trabeate style was applied okay guys 2a the picture this is the picture which you see 2a first one it is the screen in the kuwait al islam mosque in delhi constructed in the late 12th century Kuwait Al Islam. It's called Kuwait Al Islam Mosque. This one. And 2B is nothing but the corbel technique used in the construction of a screen. Even today, in many of the mosques, this is still there. Okay, G guys, is everyone with me? Rajendra Rawat, beta sir, will come on Monday. See, trabeate is a style where you have two two vertical columns like this, and you put a horizontal beam. You see that in 2B picture 2B. That's called the trabeate or corbel. Okay. Picture 2B is corbel. Same. 2A and 2B are almost the same. 2B is a line art. Okay. Okay. So. Ranjika Bauri or the Queen Stepwell located in Bandi in Rajasthan is the largest among the 50 stepwells that were built to meet the need of water to save water all right they create stepwells so step after step will be there so whenever water goes lower and lower you can get into other other step deeper steps and take water draw water look at the picture guys are you able to see that picture I know the picture is a little blur, but that's how we got it. So, Queen Stepwell. It is in Bandi in Rajasthan, largest among the 50 stepwells. Why do they build these stepwells? To save water. All right. Why should I have stepwells? Assume that you don't have multiple steps at every level. Water, when it goes down beyond a point, you can't go down and take water, draw water. So, in the, if it is a stepwell, you can go to the subsequent steps and draw water. clear so it is known for its architectural beauty and the bauri was constructed when almost in 1700 1699 by rani natawat ji queen of raja anirudh singh of bandi 
All right, Rani Nadavadji, Queen of Raja, Anirudh Singh of Bandi, Rajasthan. Hey guys, still this? Are you clear? Give me a yo. Let me see. Super. Now. Two technological and stylish developments that were there. Okay, one is whenever there is a door, the weight of the superstructure above the doors. Above the door, you have a huge beam, right? Right, that was managed by the arches. Even today, you see a lot of arches, right? You see a lot of arches. If you come to Tamil Nadu and all, there are a lot of arches. and arches are there everywhere because moguls are the ones who started this culture of building arches and this way you know where they build arches to support the weight above the doors i repeat this concept of building all right arches to support the weight above the doors is called as arcuate i repeat arcuate clear Hi Navya, hi. So, so how did they build it? They used a lot of high-quality limestone cement because when you mix them with uh, you know stones, they harden very very fast and they they you know uh, they they get into concrete. They become concrete very strong. So this way, construction and adding weight to it became very easy. whenever it something is very concrete what happens it can support or hold a lot of weight so they used limestone cement for the same clear look at this guys look at this temple so building temples mosques tanks etc india is known for you know the heritage of beautiful temples and mosques etc all right generally these are public places for worship and at the same time why they were built if you look at it they were built few temples were built to show power few temples were built to show their dedication towards god example raja rajeshwara temple it has multiple stories guys it it appears if you go and see near the temple you know so many small small uh, uh, what is it structures will be there which will be simply amazing now an inscription mentions that the raja rajeshwara temple was built by king raja raja deva for showing his dedication towards god raja rajeshwaram so it was built by raja raja deva the temple name is raja rajeshwara uh, built by raja raja deva and his god is raja rajeshwaram so the king took the god's name because it was auspicious he wanted to appear like a god okay so through you know the way it, you know, the the worship happens in the temple one god raja raja deva honored another god which is raja rajeshwaram which is his god guys look at it he was also worshiped and this god raja rajeshwaram is also being worshiped there interesting is it not so the ritual of worship the way people whenever they go to that temple you will worship both raja raja deva and raja rajeshwara clear look at this structure wow so the largest temples most of the temples guys very huge temples are constructed by rulers kings the others lesser deities in the temples were gods and goddesses of the allies and subordinates of the rulers so smaller temples were constructed by allies or subordinates of the rulers but huge major structures temples were constructed generally constructed by kings the temple was a miniature model of the world ruled by the king and the allies wow If you look at the Jain temples, most of the Jain temples who are which is which are there even today, they resemble the one that you see in the picture. Similar. Yeah. Okay. 
So guys. All right, ready? Guys, till this audio clear, give me a yo. We dealt with multiple things. How beautiful these structures are. What is trabeate or corbelled? All right, why were the temples, mosques were built? What were step wells? Which is the largest step well, the deepest one, 50 step wells? Who built it? Everything. Ready, all of you? Give me a yo. Hi, Ashwika, I'm awesome. Thank you. Shall we do a quick recap? Hold on, I'm going to be very fast. Be ready. So, guys, Kutminar was initially built by Kutbuddin Aibak to show, to, to celebrate the domination of Mughals over, uh, you know, the Hindu uh, emperor. Typically, it was Prithviraj Chauhan. Now, uh, it has five stories, okay, and uh, a balcony, and it was constructed with small arches and geometrical designs. Now, in the first floor was constructed by Kutbuddin Aibak, and the rest was con were constructed by Iltumish in 1229. It got damaged, and it was renovated later by the subsequent rulers. So, there were two types of uh, structures that were built by kings between 8th and 18th centuries. One was for them and their family. What were they? Forts, palaces, garden residences, tombs, okay, etc. The second was for public. Temples, mosques, tanks, wells, bazaars, etc. Okay. So, construction was also carried out by merchants. Merchants also built temples, mosques, wells, because they had money. Guys, a uh, lot of very, very deeper level of precision was required to, if you have to be very accurate in the geometrical designs that are applied in construction. So, when it comes to monuments, if you look at them, there are so many temples where you will not see the shadow at all at any time. You getting it? So, these require a lot of engineering brain. Now, between 7th and 10th centuries, you see this trebiate or corbelled style of architecture started coming. And they were used in temples, mosques, tombs, etc. And even large step dwells, you call them as bawalis. So, first one, 2A, was this, you know, Kuat al Islam, the mosque in Delhi, and where corbel technique was used. Okay, here, they are the largest step well. You call it as Queen Step Well or Ranji Ki Bauri. 50 step wells that are there. Alright, and this is the, bar, you know, this one. Queen Step Well is the largest one. It is in Bandi Rajasthan. Constructed by Rani Natawadji in 1699. She was the queen of Raja Anirudh Singh of Bandi. Okay. So, in 12th century, you see that the habit of constructing arches to support the weight of the doors came in. So, this concept of architecture, this kind of architecture is called arcuate. Limestone cement was used, right? High quality cement because once mixed with stone, immediately it becomes very hard concrete and it can support a lot of weight. So, temples and mosques beautifully constructed and uh, constructed to for two reasons. One, to show their power and show their devotion to gods. Example, Rajaraja Deva constructed this Rajarajeswara temple and uh, for his god, to show his devotion to his god, Raja Rajeshwaram. So, the worship ritual is such, both the king who constructed as well as the god, Raja Rajeshwaram, are worshipped inside the temple. Clear guys? Hey guys, are you ready for a menti? Superb. All right, it's time. So guys, what I want you guys to do is, I want you to open a separate browser window and type www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I, menti, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. 
go to the website menti.com once you go to that website it will ask you for a quiz code the code for today's menti quiz is 9095274 i repeat 9095274 Nine zero nine five two seven four. Come on, guys. Okay, another thirty seconds. I'm going to start the quiz. Be ready. Be ready. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nine zero nine five two seven four. Come on, come on, come on, guys! Faster! Please go to menti.com. www.menti.com. It will ask you for a quiz code. The code for today's quiz is 9095274. Start fast. Smasher gamers, hi. Okay, I think it's time. We should start. Question number one on your screens, guys. Be ready. Faster. First question on your screens now. Here we go. And the question is. Large stepped wells were called what? Large stepped wells were called pond superstructures, kiblas, bawalis. So if you had listened, Mohan Kumar, happy happy birthday to you. God bless you. Enjoy your day. So, wow, 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 most of you got it right, 101 of you. So, Nista, Bell, Ayushi, Dripto, Yashish, top 5, Fatima, Pokemon, Pingu, Bran and Ribbit, 6 and Nista is at the top after one first question. Question 2. The Bawalis were constructed to provide a place for bathing, for the royals, for entertainment, for rainwater harvesting, none of these. So when when were the Bawalis constructed guys? And why? Why, why, why? Not not even when. Yeah, to save water, I even explained to you why step, well, step after step you can go in deeper. So, two questions are done. Leaderboard says, Devesh is at the top. No, not really. Jagruti is at the top. Jagruti, Asutosh, Aradhya, Mohammed and Manda. Top 5. Apex, Sidhu, Sarika, Tanish and Devesh. 6 to 10. Question 3. Four more to go. And the third question is, 
the surface of the qutub minar is what <clears throat> triangular rectangular circular curved and angular which one is the right answer So, 100 of you got it right. Okay. Jagruti is still at the top, followed by Mandar, Apex, Aradhya, Prane. Top 5. Devesh, Ayush, Reva, Kathy, and Aris. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question 4, 3 more to go. Hi, Sabita. How are you? Ashvika, I don't know. Hold on, give me some time. Hi, Ekta. Superstructure was a term given to large mansions, part of the building above the ground floor, large step dwells, and ornamental hall. Which was the right answer? Which is the right answer? What do we call as a superstructure? <coughs> Let me see how many of you got this right. Okay. The part of the building which is above the ground floor. Alright. Which supports, right? It's called the superstructure. Okay. Awesome. Four questions are done. And now I see Jagruti still at the top. Wow. Jagruti, Narvekar, Mandar, Devesh, Aradhya, Prane. Top five. Palak, Spoidemon, Shridhyesh, Ritesh and Vijay. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 5. Two more to go. The temple and mosque were beautifully constructed because... The temple and mosque were beautifully constructed because... They were places of worship. They were meant to demonstrate power and wealth. Or they were meant to demonstrate the devotion of kings all of the above hi ashika i am fine how are you <clears throat> 77 of you got this right super all of the above, right? Wow, Jagruti looks like rocking. Jagruti, Mandar, Palak, Hridhyesh and Spoidemon. Ritesh, Vijay, Vinayak, Pinky and Samit. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question 6, just one more to go after this. Corbel technique used in the construction of Screen, scene, steps, none of these. Guys, think, think, think. There was one line art structure which I showed to you. Picture 2B. I'm giving you a clue also. 2B. So, how many of you chose screen? Hmm, come on guys, how did you forget? To be the picture. Hmm, okay. So, after six questions, is Jagruti still at the top? Oh no, she went down. Hridhyesh is going to, to the top now. Hridhyesh, Vinayak, Pinky, Jagruti and Manda, top five. Prane, Palak, Shivangi, Spoidamon and Ritesh. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The final question for this session. The Kutub Minar has... How many stories are there, guys? 
Come on, come on, come on, let me see. So, five stories, right? Kutub Minar is five stories high. So, 114 of you got this right. Hridhyesh, 6481. Wow, great job done. Hridhyesh is winning the quiz today. Great job, guys. Everyone in the leaderboard. Vinayak, Rinki. Uh, I'm not able to see the name properly. Mandar, Shivai, Palak, Ritish, Vijay, Spodamon. Every one of you in the leaderboard. Great job, guys. Kudos to all of you. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the session today. In case you want to learn from us personally, there is a link given in the subscription. All right, in the description, I'm sorry. There is a link given in the description box. Go to that link. That link will help you get unlimited DAOs. A subscription which will get you unlimited doubt solving notes test assignments and so on please visit the link in the description this is the link vdnt.in slash yt pro guys and by the way once again i am reminding all of you please take a look at that reading classes ka free demo whenever you see chotes you know uh, 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 by or behen you know you have your own younger sisters whoever it is please refer them to take up the free demo for these phonics classes okay so yes that's about it guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the session i will meet you at 8 pm we have a beautiful session on causative verbs you will see what are causative verbs and where and why you should use them okay see you at 8 pm guys until then this is myself sundar abhinandan signing off all right so don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye